What's up gamers? Hey, once again, thanks again for tuning in to the Game in Rebirth DL channel. So today we have a great video, finally, Adrenaline for non-activated PlayStation Vitas also supports UMAO. So one thing guys, before we get into the video, please be aware, uh, there's this guy that is just copying my videos and reposting them. Shame, really shameless of him, like, he's just getting all my videos, Clark Hardy. I already reported him, so I don't know why he's doing this. Like, I don't know if I should be um, happy because he's doing that or, or because he likes my videos, but shameless. Like, really? Come on. Do your own videos. So, guys, there's only one game of rebirth, and that's me. So, today we're going to begin with our adrenaline installation with our BPK. So, we're going to go to the Flows GitHub. 6.61 Adrenaline 6 fix. Now we're going to download the VPK. So previously it wasn't it wasn't loading up CSOs. So right now I'm just getting ready my VPK so that I can transfer it directly to my PlayStation Vita. Okay, so I'm going to paste it on my desktop. So now I'm going to connect my PlayStation Vita via USB using Vita Shell. And then I'm just going to go ahead like every other VPK. Uh, I already had the old one, but remember it had any, some problems not reading CSOs. So I'm going to transfer the Adrenaline VPK, the latest one. Please make sure you get this one so you have no crash issues. Okay, so now you guys are going to see my fat PS Vita. Then later on I'm going to continue with the Slim. So before installing it, we're going to go ahead and remove the old Adrenaline. You guys can see I still have it. So I'm going to launch Adrenaline EC Installer. Whichever one, you can use the Freaklers or the Black Edition, it's fine. So, we're going to select Uninstall Adrenaline E Custom Firmware completely. And yes, we want to take it out. So, it'll just take a moment, it shouldn't take that long. Okay, so when, it, when it's done, you press X and it'll reboot the system. Now, I have jumped into my PlayStation Vita Slim. And I'm going to install the adrenaline.bpk. So I say yes. And then if you agree to the message, you click yes. It shouldn't take that long. It's a fairly small in size. Okay, now that it's installed, we're going to go to URO. And under tie, we access the tie folder and we select config text. Under config text, under kernel, we add a line and we're going to add UXO app forward slash PSP EMU CFW, all capital letters, forward slash SCE module adrenaline underscore kernel dot SKPRX. To save it, you see those two little black lines on the bottom, the left hand side, we go ahead and select that and then it'll go ahead and save what we've written down, okay? Now that we have that, remember important under kernel, to so put that information in there, we press O and then want to save, we say yes. So that's all we need to do, so we're ready to install our adrenaline dot bpk for non-activated vitas and also you have access to umao so then once we launch it you're going to get a message just press x so that you can go ahead and start downloading the 661.pbp so it'll download it for you which is pretty cool you don't have to do anything so once it's completed it'll take you back to the live area and we launch adrenaline once again Look at that, it's awesome guys. So, we press X to install the 6.61 firmware. Just sped up the video a little bit for you guys. Once it's completed, we're going to press X again, which is pretty cool. And it's going to take us to the XMB. We do all the neat stuff. Now you can see my memory stick. This is for UXO. I have my emulator, some PlayStation 1 games. And then 
we're gonna press the PS button of the PlayStation Vita but I can take us to the settings of Adrenaline okay so once we get that menu we're going to the settings and then we're going to press R1 and then again and then you can change the graphics filtering advanced double A screen mode full now you can change the memory stick location to UMAO PSP EMU and you use the remote controller if you have the plugin then you press yes and now previously it was crashing they didn't even let you go in there but now it's reading it you can see that it's thinking which is pretty cool I have all my PSP ISOs CSOs so we're going to go ahead and try one game okay guys so just remember guys thank you guys for your support your help and believing in what I do remember only one gamer for birth DL channel out there so if it helped Remember to hit like, subscribe, share with your friends. As always, the links will be in the description. Game and Rebirth, out.